Hello Darts Nuts, welcome to Darts Review Channel. In this video I'm going to be checking out another set from the recent Mini Target launch and these are the Louis Williams Gen 1 Darts. So let's check them out. I'm reviewing the 23 gram version, the 90% tungsten, they're also available in 25 gram and 18 gram in soft tip and they retail for £44.85. So as usual they come in the target cardboard packaging got quite a nice uh, graphic design on them pull that tab inside you got a form insert and the darts come fitted with blue short pro grip stems and the louis williams standard flights another nice design with the welsh dragon Darts fit with a silver point and it's a straight barrel dart but it's got a tapered nose and a slight taper on the end of the barrel. It's got a nice mix of ring grip though. These wide front sections have got a kind of a micro or nano grip on. I actually like the feel of that. Um, it's got a, a fairly chunky feel as well which I prefer. And then you've got some smooth rings, a wide band, and then on the end of the barrel, you've got this thin ring grip, which has been hand sandblasted. So for rear grippers, nice little bit of grip there on the end. And overall, I think it's quite a nice looking dart actually. And they're fitted with the pro grip blue short stems and some nicely designed number two, Louis Williams signature standard flights. Right, so the front's got a tapered nose and it's got a fairly wide groove in between two wide rings but also has some lateral cuts on it so a little bit of extra grip there and the front half as you can see it's made of these wide bands with the micro style grip and not 100% sure but looks like it's got a slight curve to the to the bands it could be just where the groove is maybe a bit of an optical illusion i think with the light but um looks quite a nice grip actually and as you move towards the middle you've got this wider flat square cut ring grip again fairly wide grooves in between and then you've got a wide smooth band and then on the rear of the barrel you've got a tapered section with a thin ring and curved groove but with the sandblast and so it gives you a nice bit of texture there and then just a smooth section on the end so there you go that's the super close look at the louis williams gen 1 darts So the darts fit with a silver 26mm point, there's a tapered section made up of basically two bands but it's more or less a, a taper with a groove through it and lateral cuts that's 6mm. Then you've got the wide rings at the front with the micro grip on that's 18.8mm and then you've got some flat smooth rings that's 8.8mm. Then there's a smooth section with the target logo that's 6.3mm and then a thin ring with the sandblast coating on that tapers towards the rear that's 9mm small smooth section of 1.9 on the end length is 50.8mm width is 6.6mm twenty three point two one grams twenty three point two six grams and twenty three point two nine grams full setup twenty four point eight nine grams here's the balance with nothing attached and with the supplied setup and this is the balance with medium in between short nylon stems and standard flights so 
So we've got a mix of grip levels here, but obviously that front section with the micro grip rings is the grippiest, so 6.5 at the most. Hmm. Got a nice feel to the uh, grip at the front, but I am quite a fan of micro grip and I'm not sure, maybe it's just a little bit more grippy than I thought. I don't know if the rings are kind of curved, I think it's just a trick of the light. Maybe just down to the fact that it's a fairly chunky barrel. Not everyone likes a treble 5 champion. Not everyone likes a chunky barrel of course, but I prefer a chunky barrel to a, a thin barrel. And these darts kind of remind me of the old Harrow's Mark Dudbridge darts. I had a similar grip on them. Not going to get any trebles. <laughs> I couldn't see the, the treble bed anyway. But yeah, I quite like the feel of that. And I think it's gonna work whether you're a front, middle or rear gripper, but definitely front grippers get the full effect of that uh, micro or ring grip. I think middle grippers will probably get a little bit of it as well. It seems as if they're grouping quite well, but I'm not getting anywhere where I want them to go. <laughs> for some strange reason I'm getting more spin as well from the middle you know what, I think it could be just because I'm straddling the two grips I'm on the micro grip and a little bit on the smooth rings above it it's just going a little bit spirally as well Mm. I think I preferred it from the front where I was getting the full amount of that micro grip. But, oh, I managed to get a treble. Definitely should be fine for middle grippers, but I suppose it really depends on exactly where you're gripping it. If you're just a little bit front of the center, then you're going to be mostly on the, the micro grip rings. If you're a little bit more to the rear, then it's going to be mostly on the smooth section. And if you straddle the two grips, I guess it depends on whether you feel happy with that. But I think it just might take a little bit more practice, but it should be fine, I would have thought, for middle grippers. Mm. I'm gripping it right on the end of the barrel where that sandblasted section is and it's certainly a different feel to the front section. Um, obviously it tapers there and it's a different kind of a grip so for me personally it doesn't feel as nice as the front. And oh, I don't believe it. <laughs> I got a treble from the rear grip. <laughs> I was going to say, it just doesn't feel as easy to throw at all. Um, it has like a kind of a dry feel there, but if you're a natural rear gripper, it'd probably be fine if you like to spread your fingers along the, the barrel. And obviously that front section where them two fingers are going to sit, it keeps them nice and secure because the nice nice amount of grip there but I don't believe it I got another trouble from the rear grip that's it I'm gonna start practicing more with me rear grip now <laughs> so it's definitely gonna work if you're a rear gripper but I definitely think as a front gripper the nice section is that front grip but there you go, I think it's going to work for, for all grip styles and there's a little bit of difference. I mean obviously front 
and just front of center you got the micro grip rings a little bit above that kind of smooth rings and then you've got that kind of slightly dry sandblasted rings so there's a little bit of something there for every grip style Ah, two in the tremble there. That, pity that first one didn't go in. And again, quite nicely grouped. Quite like the feel of them, so I may have practiced with them a little bit longer. Um, like I said, it, it could work for a, all styles, whether you're front, middle, or rear gripper, just like straight barrels normally do. But they've got nice variation on the classic ring grip style. And like I said, if you're a rear gripper, you may be happy with that little section on the on the rear there if you like to spread your fingers along the barrel nice feel of the ring grip micro grip there for your your other two fingers but for me even though i hit two trebles from the rear it doesn't feel quite as nice as the the front when i'm gripping fully on that front section i like the nice chunky feel and the the slightly bit more grip from the micro grip nice start overall actually I do like the flights as well um, I just found out recently where my great granddad come from in Wales it was a place called Dowless I think that's how you pronounce it so if anyone's from Dowless you never know could be related to you <laughs> so I'll leave you with the gallery so you can have a close look at them if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet please do so and I'll see you on the next one happy darting Thank <laughs> you.